Okay, so what have we got gathering dust in the garage here then, guys? Hmm, interesting. Let's get it into the studio for a better look, shall we? Hi guys, so just what is this rather um, scruffy and unusual looking box then? Well, it's made from uh, sheet aluminium. Um, it's actually a little periscope that I made uh, back in what, I don't know, um, 1972, 73, something like that, in metalwork at school. Um, as you can see, it's got a rather grubby mirror in this end. Uh, and equally, well, it's not too bad in this side. I think there's a bit of a cobweb going on in here as well. And a mirror in this end as well. And I can remember uh, discussing it with the metalwork teacher and we drew up some plans. Um, my parents purchased some mirrors for me. And uh, yeah, blimey, that was uh, that's back in the day. It's quite some time ago now. Um, I wonder if I wonder if we can uh, get a close up of this guy, well, a close look at it for you guys to look at. Well, it's not easy because it's so big, but um, you can see some rivets here. And he's holding a little uh, the mirror mount in position. You probably see some uh, rivets on the back there as well. There's one mirror. Just about see that. Uh, it's all riveted together. I had to uh, cut it all up from a sheet metal, from sheet aluminium myself. It had to be all sliced up. Look, you can see it's, uh, it's got some uneven cutting on it in places. Uh, where can, uh, where's an example of that? I just saw one earlier on. That's typical, isn't it? Hang on. Hopefully you can see that just there. And there's some black paint just here as well because the uh, the inside had to be painted black to stop reflections. Not the best fit just here. You can see where it was uh, folded and uh, folded over. Rivets. Some rivets there holding it all together and holding the um, mirror mount in. I see it's very grubby on the top here now. Look. Look at that. Yuck. Yeah, so we're going right back in time with this little fellow then. Back to the metal work class. But as I say, probably about circa 1972, 73, something like that. Can't remember now, such a long time ago. Nice. Um, so we see if we can get it, uh, a view of the outside world for you to look at through it, see if it still works. I should hope it does. Let's give it a go. Okay guys, so at the moment you can't see a great deal, you can just see the uh, windowsill with some tools laid out on it. Let's bring in the uh, periscope, here it is. Uh, I wonder if we should focus that a bit better. There we go, right, bring it up. Um, the mirror, as you can see, is absolutely disgusting. But let's try and focus it outside for you. There you go, you can see the trees look. The trees blowing about in the garden through the window. So there you go then, guys. A little bit of a of my school days history here. My little periscope I made. I mean, we made um, all sorts of things in metalwork and woodwork, for that matter. Um, but I made some other things as well in metalwork. I quite as to where they are at the moment, I have no idea really. Uh, they could be in a garage somewhere. They could be out in the shed. I don't know. I hope I can find them because they are, uh, you know, memories for me from school. So, huh. old periscope I made from aluminium, and riveted together. A couple of mirrors. As so if I remember rightly, these mirrors are double-sided mirrors actually. And this one's very filthy at the moment. In fact, the whole thing's rather grubby. But uh, anyway, there you go, guys. A little bit of history for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please feel free to subscribe. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram as, as well. 
um, you should be able to see some uh, well those of you who are subscribed to Instagram will have already seen this because I've put just put some pictures up but um, yeah you can follow me on Instagram um, yeah I hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for uh, your time guys thanks for watching um, my old periscope <laughs> I'd say 1972, 73, something like that. So it's really going back a bit. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll catch you again some other time then. Catch you later. Rough.